The city attorney takes the SoCal gas leak to the next level. The mayor promotes a campaign to help homeless veterans move into homes. And a new project aims to provide more open space in Reseda. All these stories and more in City Beat. Calling it an ongoing public health emergency, City Attorney Mike Fuhrer filed a lawsuit against the Southern California Gas Company over the leak at their natural gas storage facility near Porto Ranch in the northwest San Fernando Valley. Fuhrer said that no community should have to endure what Porto Ranch residents have suffered from the gas company's failure to stop the Aliso Canyon gas leak. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti supported the move, saying that SoCal Gas needs to take immediate steps to solve this environmental disaster. Among other things, the lawsuit seeks to ensure the leak is repaired as quickly as possible and that the leak's cause and reason are determined and steps are taken to prevent this from happening again. Mayor Eric Garcetti declared December 1st as a citywide day of giving known as Giving Tuesday during a celebration at Bob Hope Patriotic Hall. Giving Tuesday is a global celebration where people around the world unite to celebrate generosity and give back to their communities. Mayor Garcetti also highlighted the hashtag Homes for Heroes campaign, an effort to help 500 formerly homeless veterans move into new homes by providing security deposits, furniture and other essentials. The hashtag Homes for Heroes campaign will help turn those houses into home by supplying veterans with those last basic things that they need to get into their home. LA City Council member Bob Blumenfield broke ground recently on a new river park in Reseda that will bring nearly seven acres of new open space to the LA River and Aliso Creek. More than six years in the making, the project will create a two-acre park, one mile of walking paths and three-quarter miles of a bicycle path and greenway, 14 decorative entrance gates and a 100-foot long mural. A vacant lot along the river will be transformed into a natural space that will provide habitat for wildlife and recreational green space for local residents. And it's, it's a gem that's going to be a, a, a home for all of us here and it's going to be a destination for folks who are downriver.